Is the death penalty an ultimate justice or ultimate injustice? This question has been at the heart of numerous debates on capital punishment, a practice as old as civilization itself. Today, we turn our attention to the case of Jedediah Murphy, a Texas man who met his fate on the execution table. Despite his appeals questioning the safety of lethal injection drugs and the validity of the evidence used to sentence him, his execution proceeded. As we delve into the details of Murphy's case, we invite you to ponder on the question, is the death penalty an ultimate justice or ultimate injustice? In October 2000, a fatal shooting occurred during a carjacking that would change lives forever. Jedediah Murphy, a Texas resident, was convicted for the murder of an 80-year-old woman named Bertie Lee Cunningham. The crime was gruesome. Cunningham was ruthlessly shot in her vehicle during a hijacking, an incident that sent shockwaves across the Dallas suburb of Garland. The trial that followed was fraught with tension. Prosecutors presented a series of crimes to the jury, including two robberies and a kidnapping, in addition to the fatal shooting. These crimes were used to paint a picture of Murphy as a consistent threat to society. The evidence, convincing enough to the jury, led to Murphy being sentenced to death. A verdict that is not handed out lightly, it underlined the severity of the crimes he was accused of. Yet, even as he sat on death row, Murphy claimed his innocence regarding the additional crimes. He admitted to the fatal shooting, expressing remorse for his actions, but vehemently denied the robberies and the kidnapping. His lawyers argued that the evidence linking him to these crimes was questionable, including the shaky identification of Murphy by one of the victims. Despite his conviction, Murphy maintained his innocence regarding the additional crimes, raising questions that would echo up until his final moments. Despite appeals and legal battles, the execution of Jedediah Murphy proceeded. The Supreme Court overturned the delay in his execution, rejecting claims that the lethal injection drugs were unsafe due to exposure to extreme heat and smoke during a recent fire. Murphy, convicted for the murder of Bertie Cunningham in a carjacking incident back in the year 2000, had raised multiple legal challenges. These included queries about the evidence used in his case and the safety of the lethal injection drugs. Before his execution, Murphy expressed remorse. Strapped to a gurney in the Texas death chamber, he addressed the victim's family, sincerely apologizing and hoping that his death might offer them some closure. He recited Psalm 34, affirming his faith, and then signaled to the warden that he was ready. His final words, spoken to a friend watching through a window, were, God bless all of y'all, it's okay, tell my babies I love them. Murphy's death, pronounced 25 minutes after the lethal injection was administered, brought a somber end to his life. His case was not just an execution, but also a stark illustration of the controversies surrounding capital punishment. In the aftermath of Murphy's execution, the debates around the death penalty have only intensified. The issues highlighted by this case have served to fuel conversations about the legal and ethical dimensions of capital punishment. Key among these issues is the reliability of evidence used in death penalty cases, a concern that was central in Murphy's appeals. His case also drew attention to the role of mental illness in the justice system, raising questions about whether it's fair to execute someone with a history of severe mental health issues. Additionally, Murphy's failed legal challenges over the lethal injection drugs used in his execution have spurred discussions about the humanity and ethics of this method of execution. The fact that Murphy's execution took place on World Day against the death penalty adds another layer of complexity to this ongoing debate. Public support for capital punishment in the US has been declining, and instances like this only serve to deepen the divide between advocates and opponents of the death penalty. As we reflect on the case of Jedediah Murphy, we are reminded that the question of the death penalty's place in our society is far from settled. Far from a the case of Jedediah Murphy is a complex tapestry woven with questions of justice, evidence and punishment. We've journeyed through the chilling crime, the contentious conviction, the inevitable execution and the aftermath that still ripples through society. This case underscores the perennial debate around the death penalty, its implications and its use. It raises questions about the validity of evidence, the efficacy of lethal injection drugs and the role of mental illness in such scenarios. As we continue to grapple with the question of the death penalty, we are reminded that each case, each execution, brings us back to the ultimate question. 
Is it an ultimate justice or ultimate injustice?